Hello everybody, my name is Christina and I'm with the Business Development Center here at Fred Anderson Toyota and today we're talking 4Runners. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about the cargo space configurations that you can choose from. If you are looking for an SUV that does everything that a truck can, this is the vehicle for you. It is tough, it's mean, it's rugged, you could take it off-road, on-road, behind hidden trails, through the mountains, through the snow, anywhere. And in this video, I'm not only going to show you the cargo space, I'm going to show you the second and third row seatings in these vehicles, how comfortable it can be on long car rides or short car rides for adults, children, and pets. This is a 2021 SR5. It is perfect for more cargo space as it does not have the third row seating. You can store lots more in this one um, if you do not have a lot of passengers. It does come equipped with a 120 volt, 400 watt grounded outlet as well as a 12 volt plug-in. And it has a lot of storage pockets in the back. Could be good for a first aid kit like this one. And notice these silver rings, they're perfect for bungeeing things down in case you don't want it rolling around and getting broken in the, in the back. So there are gonna be times when you are either moving or you have a pet in your car and you wanna lay these seats down. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. First. You're going to pull this lever, lay the seat like that. You're going to put the headrest down. And there's a button right here that allows you to lay the rest down. That way you have more space in your 4Runner. And now that the seats are down, there is so much room in here to do whatever you please. As you can see, it's not completely flat right here. There is a little bump, but it is still flat enough to where your dog can sit back here or if you're moving, you can fit boxes back here. Or if you're traveling, luggage will fit perfectly. There is a lot of headspace room. I am 5'7", and as you can see, I have plenty of room. Now, I know I am 5'7", but I am wearing heels today. And this is me sitting here with a taller driver in the driver's seat, and I am still very comfortable. Here in the middle seat, there is a little hump, and it is still very comfortable. Imagine that there are more passengers in this vehicle than just me. I could see a lot of different scenarios back here. You could fit three adults comfortably, certainly can fit three children comfortably back here, as well as maybe your pet and two adults, or you could fit three car seats easily in the back seat, or two booster seats and one car seat, or two car seats and one adult in the middle. And I'm very curious to know where you are all watching from. So if you could let us know down in the comments where you're watching from, that would be wonderful. I would love to know. Now that is our first configuration. What do you guys think about this Barcelona red color? So the next vehicle we're going to show you is a 2021 TRD Off-Road Premium with a sliding rear cargo deck. The sliding rear cargo deck has many different uses. And I thought to myself, what would I use it on? Well, you can actually pull this out and use it to sit on while you're at one of your kids' sporting events. You can use it while you're tailgating if you need a place to sit or eat. And I can actually see a blender being plugged in right here. Jimmy Buffett concert, anyone? You wanna know what is so impressive? This can hold up to 440 pounds. That's like two of me, or me and another person, or me, another person, and my pet. The seats do fold down the same way. You just pull this little lever, pop the headrest down, and push this button, fold the seat down. But what is different about this one is the back is completely flat. There is no bump in the back. The sliding rear deck does take up a little bit of space, but from the back to the front, it is completely flat. And this is a 2021 limited nightshade. And what do you think about these glossy black accents? It's on the handles, it's on the rims, and it's even on the roof rack. And this has third row seating. Oh wait, where'd the third row go? No, actually, it's right here. You could actually pull it up to have those third row seatings available to you or you can lay them down for more cargo space if you are traveling and you do not have a lot of passengers in your vehicle. And if you do need the third row, this is how you pull it up. You just take this lever right here, push it all the way up and pull up. Just like that. The back seats of this one folds down a little differently. All you're gonna do is you're just gonna pull this lever right here and it's gonna slide down just like that. The easiest way to get to the third row seats is from the passenger side. It has a carpool lever, which allows you to easily get back just by doing that. 
in the third row, as you can see, there are no seat bottoms out right now, but it is very easy to pull those seat bottoms out if you're having people in the back or whatever the case may be. But when the seats are laid down, you actually do not need those seat bottoms out. How you're gonna pull out these seat bottoms is you're just going to pull on it, release it just like that. And if you wanna put them back, there's a little lever down here. You just push it and it goes right back in. The third row seating is actually a lot more comfy and roomy than I thought. There is a lot of leg room and plenty of head space. And these back seats actually do sit up a little higher. That way you have the ability to bend your legs a little bit more and sit more comfortably. I don't know if I would actually be super comfortable sitting here on long road trips, but it may be perfect for a dog or a pet if you are going on a long haul. With the third row, these back seats actually recline a little bit differently. So you just pull this lever right here, and it slides down. And as you can see, it is a little bit more raised up because this seat is not being pulled down this way. But there is still plenty of room for storage or cargo space. This is what it looks like from the back. There's still plenty of space, whether you're moving, going camping, or taking a long car ride. Here's a little bonus for you. Forerunner is already great, but 21s are even better. It has LED daytime running lights, LED headlights, and LED fog lights. And remember, LED lights are standard on every trim level of 2021 Forerunners. If you are interested in third row seating, it is available in the SR5, SR5 Premium, the limited and the nightshade edition. If you are interested in any of these forerunners or any other car, truck, or SUV, whether it's new or used, we would love to help you out. Give us a try. We have given you a lot of information to digest today. So tell me, which one do you think is best for your family? Did you like the empty space in the back? Did you like the rear sliding deck? Or did you like the third row seating? Thank you so much for watching today. Please subscribe to us on our YouTube channel at Fred Anderson Toyota, as well as follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Fred Anderson Toyota. We'll see you soon.